Today I'm going to be taking this broken sledgehammer and replacing its handle. The first thing that I need to do is knock out the head element so that I can actually replace it. Welcome to Gym Tips, the channel that repairs, revives and restores. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video by giving it a thumbs up. So the first thing I had to do was actually drill the top of the head to remove as much wood as I can. There's a wedge log inside and I wanted to make sure that I got rid of all of that. I cut off the handle because it would just make my life a little bit easier. Started knocking it out with an old hammer head that I had just to take out the handle head so that I could actually then replace it. it took a little while but eventually got there and it was fairly clean inside just gave it a little scrape. Um, next was to just take some rough measurements so that I can make a decision in regards to how much to carve out. And also I had to look at the actual depth of the handle. So the first thing that I did was just make sure that I actually marked out a simple square because it's a lot easier to deal with the square and then round off the edges afterwards. Um, and by creating a quick little box, that was just a nice little template. The next step is to carve out the depth of how far I want to go. And I just use the ruler to mark around and just put some rough markings because it's going to be sawn off anyway and it's just an indication to to get me to my line now what i did was i actually sawed from the top of the handle to the uh, outer edge because i didn't want to take off too much and, and leave a bit of a transition um, afterwards i will make sure to tidy that up it's just a rough cut using a saw or any saw just to give a general outline this isn't going to be the complete outline and i left uh, enough of extra material so that i could actually shape it okay so now that i've got the rough outline and shape the next thing is is just to see wherever there were any curves or corners that i needed to actually take out and just have a bit of an indication in regards to how far i want to go the next thing i did was just use the belt sander that i had lying around just to shape it close to what i thought the handle shape was i actually you can see some brown markings where i actually knocked it into the sledgehammer head that just gave me an indication of how far i needed to go the next step was to just carve a center piece using a saw this is so that when you're actually putting it into the actual hammer head that it's got enough um, space before you add in a wedge for the compression and then it gives it a nice tight fitting you can see that I knocked it in and you could see the rust marks as I was getting it through the um, hammer head as in the sledgehammer's head so it was easy enough for me to shape this out and I just kept sanding it down until I got to a shape which was close enough the final step was just to knock it in I should have probably used a piece of wood across the top so that I didn't uh, effectively break it but um, it was good enough to just knock it in place so this is me just completing it and just getting in the handle onto the sledgehammer which is nice from the piece of ash that I actually turned before the bit that I didn't display was actually adding the wedge but I added it in afterwards please don't forget to subscribe and like and please feel free to check out any one of my other videos